In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to stop corner routes in Madden 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel basically focuses on helping you get better at Madden NFL 20. And I'm going to share with you some principles today on how to stop corner routes. But before I do that, if you've never been to my channel before, what I want to encourage you to do is if you're looking to get better at Madden 20, I want to encourage you to join our Discord server. A link to that server will be in the description. If you have any issues joining the Discord, just shoot me a text message. My number is in the description of every video that I do. You can always contact me about any question you have in Madden. And the whole theory behind this is we can all make other people better. But I want to incentivize it a little bit. So once we get 100 members in our Discord, I will release my entire offensive and defensive guides to our Discord members for 100% free. So let's jump into the corner route video. Let me talk a little bit about that real quick. So Corner routes are an issue uh, in Madden. I mean, they're, they're an issue this year, right? Um, there's compressed corner routes. Angle smash uh, is a good example of a corner route that's an issue. Um, FL spot is a good example of a corner route that's an issue. I mean, you know, if you've played Madden at all this year, you know that corner routes are an issue. And so what we're going to do is we're going to share a couple of principles that can apply to any formation in the game. I'm just going through my playbook here, checking out. Um, I, mean, I just picked a random book. I, I picked the Tampa Bay book because the principle is what I hope that um, what I hope really hits home today. So um, as you can see here, we're going to look at just a compressed set, just because that way we can look at corner routes. Uh, we can look at a couple of different types of corner routes here from the Tampa uh, Tampa Bay press set. There's um, some really good ones, actually. Um, you can also look at the spread from Tampa Bay here, and you'll see this play, uh, not Buck Shallow, but Smash Jigs, Quick Slot Out. Those are some really, really powerful plays this year. But let me jump into tight. And let me show you the basics. So Bucks corners, you know, corners are two by two, three by one. There's all kinds of different things. And let me give you just a couple of basic principles to stop corner outs. First and foremost, I teach when I'm talking about Madden, it doesn't necessarily matter the formation that you come out in. It matters the leverage of the formation that it is. So what I mean by that is football is a game of leverage. You either have inside position or outside position. A corner route is designed to get the wide receiver outside position. If the wide receiver does not have outside position, they can't throw a corner route. That is also why uh, I like to base align most of my defenses. But let's jump into this. So nickel normal. And you could pick any play. There's a couple of specific plays I did want to talk about. I want to talk about some of the, some of the new things. So cover three match, cover four palms. Tampa two, and then there's another cover four, uh, just a cover four quarters. So cover four this year has kind of been the hot, um, the hot defense that people want to run, um, because the, what they've seen is most of the other stuff isn't working the way they want it to work. Um, and so we're just going to come out here and just a standard cover three. So corner routes. Let me just show you the issue. Let's first identify the problem. So this is just man aligned, man aligned defense out of cover three. And you're going to see, wow, Minnesota got loose there on the nickel normal. You're going to see, and this is just, let me work on, because we're just trying to show you the coverage. But what you're going to see here is these corner routes should get open with the hard, hard left pass lead. So if I wait on it, then I can fit that in. Now, if I, um, there's some other corner routes. Let me see if I got a quick hook. Um, let me go to the play Bucks post here. I might have to go to shotgun spread. Um, let's go to the, uh, let's go, let's get out and let's, let's grab a better corner. Route. There's corner routes that go deep. There's corner routes that go flat. Um, there's, there's all kinds of them this year, honestly. And so that's part of the issue. So, you know, when someone says, how do you stop a corner route? Well, that I mean that can, what they're really asking. And this is, this is what they're really asking. What they're really asking is how do you stop a route that breaks to the outside? How do you stop a route that breaks to the outside? Because that's really what you you can run five or six that I know of off the top of my head different corner routes. So you, you can't just blanketly stop every corner route. But this this route right here, if you watch, he's gonna break. Man, the Vikings Viking practice mode pressure is real. Um, he's gonna make. Let me just get these guys out of the way. But you'll see right here, Tyler Lockett is just gonna get a little pass lead left. That little corner route right there is going to beat most coverages as I'm having a ton of issues right now, of course. 
let's see here. But against um, base aligned, and when they don't get that press on that corner, you'll see this corner out should get underneath the deep blue and over the cloud flat. That's the idea. It's an outside breaking pattern that is going to get the deep blues aren't going to react to the ball. That's, that's in essence what is the issue that we're faced with. So what are some things that you can do? Well, one of the things that you can do, and also they're going to pair this with Escape Artist, right? They're going to pair this with Escape Artist. So what they might do is something like this. This could be a very basic setup, and then they'll just motion him so they don't run into each other. That's what I would do. So you're going to motion Metcalf in. He's going to be on a little fade route. And then they're going to roll out. Like you see me do this from Arizona all the time. And they're going to they're going to hit that right there. They're going to hit that right there. One solution to the corner route issue is very simply to call Tampa 2, base align, shade coverage over top and outside. Call Tampa, 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 Tampa 2, base align, and shade coverage over the outside. And what you'll see here, if I roll out, I can't throw it. Why? Because that corner is going to sit there. Now, what that means that they're going to do, what that means an offense is going to do, is they're going to go to something like this right here. Let's see, this is a little bit of a deeper corner route. A little bit of a deeper corner route. So, in theory, it's going to take a lot longer to develop, but if, you, if you're rolling out in the pocket, you should have time, right? So, um, same thing. Base align, Tampa 2. And I'm going to roll out with Russell Wilson. And here's what you'll see happen. I can throw it right up there. And I and obviously I have a bad throw there. But I can throw that up the seam. So to have a a, a cloud flat is, is, is not always the key. Um, like I said, FL spot, plain and simple, in the, any Tampa 2. And these are why people are running these deep inverted corner routes this year. Which actually, you know, obviously against cover two, it's it's great because what happens is they literally can't like on both sides. I can run it to both sides. It's basically bench, right? I could run it to the left. I could run it to the right. It's actually probably a little bit better to the right, but I'm gonna roll out here, get time in the pocket, and there it is. As you see, I can hit that corner out all day. That is the, that is part of what is the problem. Now. So our baseline Tampa 2 doesn't work. Like, what do you call? What do you call? What do you do? So that's where people have started to call different types of defenses. Like cover four palms, cover four quarters, cover three match, you know, all of those different types of defense. Well, let me show you what cover four palms does to something like this. Let me show you what cover four palms will do. Just simply calling cover four palms from nickel normal or any, any formation that has it. Watch what's going to happen to the corner routes. So simply roll out. You see, I'm still able to hit it. I'm still able to hit it because they're in man principles. Me putting that, that guy on the left on a streak forces that. Now, if I did something like this, let's say I called cover four palms. And let's say I took the guy on the left and I just put him on a, um, I just put him on a little drag Watch, you see that corner matches, and it's a little dicey. Obviously, I was still able to fit it in, but it gets a little dicey. Now let's check. Um, let's check cover three match. Let's check cover three match, and you'll see there it's man to man. So he's he's still gonna roast it. That corner is 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 tough to beat. So so cover three match, same same principles, right? And I'm just gonna throw that guy on a deep deep route. And now it's basically a man-to-man -man battle. It's a route running issue. So cover three match, it's it's still open. What about cover four quarters? Well, cover four quarters, same kind of thing. So cover four quarters. This is more of like a cover four drop type of scenario. But you see you get that match there. And it's a little bit of a tighter window to throw the ball. What about... Um, and then what about one other defense that I want to grab out of here? And this is any three deep, three under blitz. Any three deep, three under blitz. So Buck Slant Show 2 would be an example of one. Um, 
Overload three seam would be an example of one. Corner blitz would be an example of one. Safety strong would be an example of one. So any cover three blitz. So let's just grab the buck slant show two. And let's go to our doubles. And we'll run our, our uh, angle smash. Okay, so cover three, buzz, show two. I'm throwing that guy on a deep third. Now, just for the coverage purposes, what we're going to do is we're just going to drop out of this blitz. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to drop them out and despise because I want to show the coverage on the corner route. Um, so same kind of thing. I'm going to roll out. And you see, it's again, it's that man-to-man. -man. So what the defense has to do is they basically have to man align, and in essence, if they take this Alexander, whoops, 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 whoops. If they take Alexander and they throw him in a vert, you'll see this right here. So this is just some simple max coverage created out of a 3-deep three, 3 under blitz. And what you'll see here, you see how they match him? But again, if he can roll out, so it's really the rollout that's really the issue more so than anything. So if he if he can't roll out, what we can do is a simple four down lineman rush. So if I if I call number four or cover three match, and then I just I just uh, QB contain, throw the QB spy out there. What that's going to do is it's going to force my my quarterback to stay in the pocket, and now, you know, I got a little bit of a window, but it's it's not as open as it was. Now, depending on the type of quarter route that they're going to run against you, that's another thing, and and it's another thing that makes it so critical. So, for example, if you call cover four quarters, you want a baseline because the, and the reason you want to, the reason that I like to baseline is because I want outside leverage. I want outside leverage. So what I would do is something like this right here. I would shade coverage down, shade coverage up, turn those into cloud flats. And then what you'll see here, I have to stay in the pocket because of the blitz. And you see yet there's the interception on the corner route. That's a very simple, very, very simple setup. Um, but if I were to call, let me call that same defense, baseline, so cover four quarters or any, any cover four, Shade coverage down, shade coverage up. So you get the cloud flats and then base align the defense so that they're spread out, right? And then set your line up to stop an escape artist on the mobile. Now, if they run, um, if I run that guy on a streak, what you're going to see is you see how that's taken away. So now what I've got to look at, though, is I've got to look at those deeper corner routes because we all know people who will run these deeper, deeper, deeper corner routes. Now, what's good about the cover four that's a lot better than the cover two, and this is why so many people are running cover four, is the cover four, the window is a lot tighter, and it's actually a click on pick right there. I mean, it's tight. It's tight. It's a tight window. So that's another little bitty issue with this. Now, as you see here, if I go to cover four, um, cover four palms and do the same thing that I just did with the shading, then you'll see here, uh, FL spot, throw that guy on a streak, that just bench concept. And you see, I can work, I can work some things. I can work some things. So that's where even, so that's where kind of step four comes in. And that is to call any cover four baseline press so that they're up, shake coverage down, shake coverage out. All right. And you can, you don't have to press, you can man align. If you want to man align, you can man align. That's fine. Um, I would do, I would do a base align look if they're in like a compression, compression set. But um, you see that, that movement there. So here it goes, snap the ball. That cloud's going to hold for just a little bit. And you see the safeties are able to, to jump down on the corner routes. Now the question that you got to look at, though, with this route combination or route concept, and this is why it's probably one of the best route concepts in the game this year. It's been one of the best route concepts for every year of Madden, to be quite honest with you. But that press coverage, getting that outside positioning, and then what happens is... If I take if I take that um, that guy Metcalf right there and I put him on on just a simple streak route, 
you'll see if I if the corner's taken away, there's a little bit of a rub and it's a one play score. It's a one play score. So that's why people will start to put their safeties in deep halves. So they may do something like this right out of cover four. They're going to take their safeties and they're going to put them in deep halves to prevent that one play score from a from a bench switch type of uh, type of setup. So at the snap of the ball, now you can't throw that. But if you saw, our corner route is wide open. So it's a little bit of a catch, a little bit of a catch 22 for the defense. That's why doing some doing a simple, simple three deep three under blitz with some adjustments underneath it is probably going to be your best bet to stop corner routes this year. Because they're going to sit on it. And the pressure is going to force the opponent to throw the ball quicker. So those are some tips, some strategies for how to stop corner routes. Again, corner routes are difficult to stop. Um, but what I would do is a three deep, three under blitz. Some It doesn't have to be at a nickel. It could be at a three, four odd, three, four bear, dime, one, four, six, dime, two, three, six, whatever. You want to have something that's going to be able to get you some pressure so that they don't have all day to throw it, right? And then what you want is you want to shade coverage down, shade coverage up. You want outside leverage. And you don't even have to. I mean, you don't even have to have outside leverage. But the blitz is going to keep him in the pocket. By keeping him in the pocket, that match coverage is not going to be as good. Or um, that cloud coverage there. Do you see how they come off of that? See how they come off of that? So I hope today's video helped you. Uh, I hope today's video helped you. And showed you a little bit of like how I would attack some of these corner routes. And again, there's two specifically diff very, very different types of corner routes. And the thing is, I think you kind of stop them very, very differently. So you have to kind of know what they're going to do and, and, and then play a little chess with them because corner routes are probably the best route in the game. But as you see, those deep blues will fall off once you press them. That's why press coverage is is so critical for corner routes, especially if you're going to try to stop them with a cover four drop type of defense. So any or a cover three match type of defense. So any kind of three deep three under blitz with base line or not base lining, but with with a press coverage and a shade coverage over the top, that's going to help you a lot when it comes to stopping these corner routes. Again, I'm just man aligning pressing shading coverage over the top and you'll see here i'm gonna try to throw that corner out left and you see it's pick sixth i mean that's a pick six easy easy walk in score so that is how you stop the corner routes in madden 20 let me know if you have questions and if this video helped you i really really want to encourage you if you have not yet join our discord server the link is in the description of the video and that's where you're going to be able to get your free offensive and defensive guide as soon as